たねー Over the past few weeks, since Anna gave me this dye fluid microbalance and the R2 extract, um, I've been playing with it. I've used it in a couple of competitions. And today I'm gonna show you exactly how you're gonna use it. And we'll be able to answer the question, do you need it? Do I really need to buy it? Because it's quite expensive, but it has its advantages, okay? What is so good about the microbalance and the R2 extract from dye fluid? Um, they can be um, they can be used with an app on your phone. They have their own app, which is very functional. And not only that, um, the integration between the refractometer and the weighing scale is seamless they work side by side on your app and you don't need to connect them every time you open the devices i will demonstrate and i will put a video of the of my screen here so that you will be able to see what i'm doing inside the app while we're doing it As I've said, the weighing scale and the R2 extra can both work at the same time on your app. So um, when you first open it, of course, you need to pair it to your phone. But after that, it would be very, it would be seamless as in you don't even need to check if it's connected. It's going to appear like this. Um, so I have my app open right now. And then I'm going to turn on my weighing scale. Okay, as you can see here, uh, as you can see, it says here that the micro balance has connected. And then um, you can input your beans here. Yeah, so let's do that now. We're going to do... Um, because I have new beans. We're gonna put Ethiopia Irgachev. Irgachev, yan. Idido. Okay. Roast level is light. Okay, and then processing is natural. And then the weight, the weight right now is, and then you can actually, you can actually select the autofill so that when you put it on your scale, it will automatically, um, it will automatically input the weight that you put on your scale onto the app. So let's confirm that. We still have 200 grams minus plus, um, minus maybe 15 to 18 grams because of the packaging. Okay, and then add bean. So we're just gonna click it and then input um, 13 grams. Let's, let's do 13 grams. Okay, so Okay, we can also autofill that. Let's click there. And then let's put so that we have exact measurements. Okay, so we have 13 grams, right? Firm. And then the grinder, when you first set this up, um, you can actually select um, you can actually select your grinder. There is a list. You can select your grinder there. So I'm gonna put 
23 clicks. Okay. And then our recipe. So let's put in 13.2 and then the water that we intend to put is 200 then it will tell you exactly your ratio okay then our water temperature is 90 right and then our carafe okay and then we're gonna use this carafe let's select there then put your carafe there Autofill and then confirm. Right, steps. Um, let's do record brew process. Okay, before we start the brew, brew process, of course we need to grind our, our beans, right? So let me put this to 23 clicks. Let's put in our beans. Then let's put our dripper. Okay, after doing all the necessary preparations for the brew, for the actual brew, right, let's put our beans, ah, let's put our coffee grounds. Okay. Now we're going to press there here. Okay, and then we're gonna start the brew process. So we can, we can either press the play button here or start the timer on your weighing scale but i don't know if you've noticed but i haven't pushed any buttons on my weighing scale yet right anyway um let's start so i'm gonna press play here on my um on my phone on my app and then it's what it does it's it's going and then the app will start recording your flow rate so it will actually see yeah it will actually see the amount of water and the amount of flow rate that you are um, that you are doing as you can see there is a graph right here and then there is also a way to measure your flow rate so it is showing you how strong you are pouring or how slow you are pouring Okay, right now I'm just gonna leave it to um, to draw down any more water. Okay, at two minutes I'm gonna pour again. Yeah, um, I really pushed hard on the water at the last bit of the pour. 
so that you can see the graph spiking, right? Because all throughout the all throughout the pore, it seemed um, it seemed very linear. Okay, now we're gonna press stop here. So that is the record of your whole brewing process. And then we're gonna press done. At this point, you want to measure the extraction level of your coffee. So we're gonna turn on the R2 extract. And it's gonna appear on your app again that it's connected, the dye fluid R2 connected. So this little spoon that came with the R2, you can get a sample of your coffee and then put it on the sensor dish. So the R2 right now is um, testing your coffee and it is giving you the exact measurements of the light passing through your coffee. So that's what a refractometer does. It, it, it bounces off light through your coffee and then the amount of light getting through, that is the amount of extraction that you get. Right. I'm gonna do it again for good measure. Okay, so we have 158. Um, before we press done, um, that is the TDS level. That is the TDS percentage of your coffee versus water, right? I have an empty vessel here and I teared it to zero. And then I'm gonna pour all my coffee here so that we get the exact yield. So out of the 200 ml water, out of the 200 ml brewing water, we got 168 grams only. Okay. And then it says here that we have 20% extraction. So 20% extraction is quite good. It's quite nice. Um, and then there is a graph here of your TDS level um, versus your extraction level. So right now, our results just outside the, the sweet spot, like the center of the graph. Right, now we're gonna press done. And then I'll change this water to 200. Okay. And then this is your brew page. This is where all the information about your brew will appear. And then um, you, can, you have here the grind settings and then the process. As you can see, there is the, um, there is the timing, the blue, um, the green line is your timing. And then the red line is your um, water. Okay. And then the result is your graph, right? Okay, you can put notes here. Um, let me take a sip. Mm. Okay, so according to the coffee, our coffee right now, it is very floral. Um, and it has bright acidity. Um, and then low sweetness, um, body is just fine. Okay. And then we're going to press done before we save it. We can also take a picture. Okay. So we can put our, um, the brewer that we used. 
then let's take a picture use photo okay and then after it's done loading we can press save right now if we go back this is all the records of your right brew and your wrong brew right so if you are if you're actually preparing for a competition and you are trying to perfect a certain recipe this is the perfect tool for you um, but if you have spare money to to spend this is a nice tool for you to invest in because you will be able to pinpoint where to improve and how to improve it so let's try this march 19 okay so the result is right in the middle of the graph okay um so it is a 1 is to 15 ratio using 20 gram dose um, the temperature is 94 degrees and then look at the process so obviously i used a four four pour method now you see here the graph all the all the water movement is oh so the water movement is the red line right as you can see we have four different movements here so that means i used a four pour method and then i can also see um i can also see the frequency of the water so as you can see here it is around five and four grams per second so what does it mean it means that i am pouring um i am pouring fast because five grams or four grams per second is quite fast right so that means i am pouring fast in a short amount of time from 44 seconds up to 1 minute and 12 seconds so, right and then my results were right in the middle so I have very good extraction and I have very good TDS levels so that is basically how you can maximize the dye fluid microbalance and the dye fluid R2 extract they work in synergy Right with the app, um, I think there's for me they're 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 a hard tandem to beat. Right, you have all the you have all the records like how much water did you pour in and how long did it take you to pour a certain amount of water. You have your TBS levels, you have your extraction levels. You even have a picture so you can you can actually remember. Oh, what brewer did I use? What server did I use? Right? It's 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 a really it's a really nice piece of equipment for improving your brewing skills. Right? <sighs> so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!